Hello and welcome to Purgatory's Heart. This is my submission for the mobile game. Uh, there's a lot to go through, so I'll be sort of rushing. Um, but uh, to move in this game, you, you, you'd swipe. Uh, I'm on PC, so I'll be swiping with my mouse, but it works the same on Android. Um, so I'll start here. This is the map. Uh, so this white square is where you start. It, it'll move up as you go through the gray squares, but... The yellow rooms are treasure rooms, so you'll get loot there. You also get loot at the end of each enemy boss fight, which you'll see. Uh, this map's also randomly generated, by the way, so... Um, but there'll always be three enemies, because there's only three enemies in the game. So you can see here, I'm, I'm moving. I'm the blue square. The enemy's the black square. These red squares are damage indicators. I'll explain them later. But here's the, the beat bar. So you can see if I move in time with the beat, when the beat's here, um, you'll move. Uh, and so the the goal is to move, to build up this combo, and also to damage the enemy, uh, which I'll, I'll show in a second how to damage him. Um, there is a heartbeat in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, which is the actual timing of this, because the music is a bit difficult to sync up, so there's a bit of issues at the moment. You can see here I'm, I'm attacking him by running into him, which is his health bar up here. And I take damage by sitting in these red squares. You shoot another one in a second. Yeah. Alright, that's that. Uh, they have, uh, I think, three or four moves each, the bosses. And there are three bosses, so I'll quickly try and show them off. Is that health? That was that was the reward room, by the way. Your rewards depend on the combo you have in the like the maximum combo you've had in the previous room. The treasure rooms are a maxed out combo, so you get the best rewards. There are four different rewards. Um, there's health, there's max health, there's damage, and there's also um, one that slows the enemy's moves by a little bit, so that they'll they'll do all their attacks slower. Um, all right, so that, that's the current ones that are implemented. There would be more like ones that sort of adjust how the game pl uh, play runs, but yeah, you know, vertical slice. So this is the next boss. You can see the there's different music, uh, different timings different attacks so on. The boss's health bar scales with the amount of levels you've gone through, so I've gone through three, so it'll be three times a hundred or whatever extra health. So uh, you, you do want to get damage every once in a while, otherwise you'll fall behind. Take damage here. Yeah, and this boss also has, I think, three or four moves. That's the gist of it. You'll, you'll be running yourself into them when they, you know, come to the actual area you can play in. This guy has like big area denial. So yeah, I'm just attacking him here. Alright, and if you die, it'll just reset the game. I'm gonna skip the boss. Damage. Another one, damage. And here's the final boss. You'll always go through all three bosses. Um, so you don't have to worry about that, but their, their position is randomly generated. So this guy's doing his move here. This is the most um, fancy looking move, so let's go they should have first. Uh, I don't know if I've explained it. There is... Actually, no, I have explained it, but the um, the heartbeat, I'll quickly show here. You can change the volume, and I'll max out the volume so you can hear the heartbeat a little bit better. Okay. So I'll keep it lower so you can hear me a little bit better. Um, there is no saving in this game, but there would be an actual build. So it's about a prototype. Now, the music is obviously not mine, I haven't made this, but um, in, in, in a real sense, I'd, I'd, it would be a little bit more beat focused, this is just a random one I had. Um, and this music bar, I, I'd like it to be more custom rather than super rhythmic. This thing should itself a little bit more from other rhythm based games. Right, but, as you can see, the, the game is not that hard to keep it casual. Or hyper casual. Oh, he's not the same move. Let me skip ahead. Alright, he's finishing up now. There's also one other mechanic I'd like to say uh, is that you can tap in time with the beat as well. Because some bosses force you to stand still, like this one in particular. Uh, so that, that, that stops you from losing your combo. But you lose your combo if you miss this timing, obviously, or uh, spam. You don't move when you spam. Or you also run into walls. There's another move he's got. So this is one where you would. Uh, or the mechanics were hopping, but it's just tapping really. That, that's been my game, uh, Purgatory's Heart.
Thank you for watching. Um, and see you next time.